Series 31 at European Automotive has just been announced. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the full update. You know how things work by now. Let's get straight to it. So the update itself releases on the 27th of February at 6 p.m. GMT. That's UK time. You can convert it as you wish. We're going to start off with a festival playlist, which actually has eight new cars within the festival playlist. That's more than usual. There are more new cars in a car pack. We'll cover that after the festival playlist. So let's begin. For the full series, for 80 points, you can get the Ferrari 575M and for 160 points the Audi RS6 from 2021 and these are not new cars there are two cars in every week the first week which is summer the first new car you can get for 20 points the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro this one took me by surprise I didn't think we'd ever see this in Forza Horizon 5 as is if it is an extremely quick car I've got a quick video clip of this in game So that's the first new car. For 40 points on that same week, you can get the Megane RS250. And then there's a second new car on the first week for winning a seasonal championship. And it's the 1968 Lancia Fulvia Coupe Rally E 1.6. That is two new cars on the first week. The Forza Bond shop for the first week has the Ferrari 599XX, the Bentley 8 litre, a German race helmet, a bass drop car horn, and Italy race gloves. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn. For 20 points, you can get the third new car, the Volkswagen ID4 from 2021. For 40 points, you can get the ATS GT from 2018. And then for winning a seasonal championship, you can get the fourth new car of this month, the 1975 Citroen DS23. Every single week, there is a new car within the seasonal championship. It's quite rare that they do that. The Forza Don Shop has the Jaguar LW E Type 1964, Ferrari F50 GT, Wheelspin Carhorn, a sundress, and France race gloves. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. The third week, which is winter, for 20 points you can get the Mercedes AMG SL 63 2021, that is the fifth new car of this month. For 40 points you can get the Mini from 1965, the Forza edition, and then for winning a seasonal championship you can get the sixth new car, the 2002 Lotus Esprit V8. That's six new cars so far. The Forza on shop for the third week has the Ferrari Enzo, the McLaren Senna, the dial-up modem horn, what Hot Wheels suit and a UK race glove. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth week, which is spring, the seventh new car is the Mercedes-Benz 500e. For 40 points you can get the Ascari KZ1R, and then for winning a seasonal championship on the fourth week you can get the eighth new car, the 1966 Volkswagen double cab pickup. Those are the eight new cars within the festival playlist, all of which are free. The Forza Don Shop has the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, the Lamborghini Centenario, Welcome Spring Horn, Germany Top, and the A Natural Suit. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. So that's the festival playlist that has eight new cars. Now there are four more new cars in, as you guessed it, a European automotive car pack. Courtesy to turn 10, I have some codes to give away as usual. I have five, so if you wanna win a code for this new car pack, pop in the comment section below your gamer tag and make sure you're subscribed. It's pretty good odds to win a car pack as you'll be very surprised the amount of people who don't claim the car packs. The car pack itself has the 2021 Bentley Continental GT convertible, the 1987 Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer Wagon, the 2019 Jaguar XE SV Project 8, and the 2020 Automobili Penin Pininfarina Batista. <laughs> I've got a bit of gameplay of a couple of the cars, I'll pop them on screen, but that is, you get yet another car pack, it seems like a fairly normal thing now to get a car pack in almost every update. I'm not really against this because car packs don't really cost that much, but what's interesting to see is cars making their way over from Forza Motorsport, just like the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, 
the automobile pinini forista is another example will we see more correlation between what cars added to each game in the future we'll have to wait and see so those are the 12 new cars within the update let's have a look at the new features now there are some evolving world features the star trophy collectible appears in open world during week one of all european automotive if you smash 10 of them you'll get some festival playlist points now this is what they look like the the star trophies pretty cool that's pretty much it for evolving world this week there is a new accolade as you can imagine for collecting all of the cars within the festival playlist that's going to be a bit of a chore that so yeah there are eight new cars in there and now one of the coolest things is we have new event lab props and there's quite a lot of them and i do have video clips of all of them as well so we have 25 ramps and platforms with snap functionality asphalt dirt grass ice and snow these are as it says ramps or platforms in different types that can snap together with different textures if i have gameplay of the specific props i'm talking about i will put them on screen we have new dinosaur props didn't really expect that but now i'm gonna have fun pronouncing all of these because as you know my pronunciation is awful ankylosaurus brachiosaurus pterodactyl stegosaurus triceratops and velociraptor <laughs> i think i nailed them I, I know i do have gameplay and screenshots of those those are really cool we've already had one dinosaur in the game but now we've got multiple i can expect some jurassic park event labs creations to be made from now on now there's another load and it's the biggest load 40 shapes with snap functionality. We've got four cones, uh, four cubes, four cuboids, four cylinders, four pyramids, four frustums, whatever that is, four spheres, four torus, four wedges, and four large wedges. And each plastic shape has eight colored versions. So there's a lot of different combinations you can do with these new shapes. Again, I have gameplay of them on screen right now. People kind of forget how big the Event Lab feature in Forza Horizon 5 is. The people who don't use it, they really are missing out on a huge aspect of the game. I mean, aside from the new cars, the new Event Lab props are probably the next biggest thing in this update. And if you don't play the Event Lab, you never really get to experience half of these updates so, so it's a bit of a shame really but yeah the event lab has some big things coming this month now what's next now we have bugs and fixes as usual these are just the highlighted bugs and fixes there's only five there will be more than this we'll cover that in a future video and also additionally as a new feature the rally adventure rivals can now be played in all classes just a little sneaky new feature there hidden at the bottom of the bugs and fixes if you're, in, if you're into your rally adventure rivals there you go now that is pretty much it for this update we have the event lab of the month that i will play on screen right now again we never really cover the event labs of the month but if you want to see it there it is the next update is the horizon race off sounds pretty cool some of the widgets look quite interesting race off takeover new community challenges new cars and new collectibles the first two are quite intriguing we will have a video discussing what this update could possibly bring just like we did for this one let me know in the comment section below what you're looking forward to in this update the most and what you hope to see next thank you very much for watching guys hope you have a great day and i'll see you all later